With the CAT notification for CAT 2015 uh, released recently, many of us would start thinking about changing our preparation plans and coming up with a strategy for the latest edition of the exam. So uh, this video is about uh, how you should prepare, how you should plan for the reading comprehension section in the verbal part of the CAT. Um, as far as reading comprehension goes, we've said this before and we're going to say this again, the only sound strategy that will always work for reading comprehension is being a good habitual reader. So if you, if you have a good habit of reading, you put in uh, one and a half hours to two hours of reading a day, you should be uh, sound not just for reading comprehension, but the whole of the verbal section because it's all about testing whether the student has a good reading habit or not. Uh, because the, uh, the exam has been uh, restructured uh, to become three sections now, you can no longer uh, hide in logical reasoning. You couldn't do it in the first place, but now it's become all the more harder because reading comprehension is now half the verbal ability section. Uh, so uh, students previously who thought that uh, they can make up for not being good at RC by uh, hiding in LR, that option is no longer available to you. So keep that in mind. You can't neglect RC as you may have been able to do in previous years. Um, so going back to RC and strategy for RC and how you should attempt uh, the passage. Um, the one thing I'd like to say to begin with uh, uh, a strategy is don't worry about taking time for reading a passage. So if you are if you're thinking that I can't take eight minutes or more to read a passage, I have to read faster and artificially try to increase your speed. Uh, this is this is going to backstab you. Uh, the reason is uh, if you are if you are reading and skipping details in the pa in the passage, you you, you skip out uh, some sentences. You read only what you think is important. Basically, you practice what uh, uh, gurus call a speed reading. If you do that, then you'll, you'll find that when you hit the question, you, you haven't really understood what the passage is saying. So you might have invested five to six minutes already trying to rush through the passage. And then you look at the first question and you realize, I don't know what the passage is talking about at all because all I've done is read words together and I don't know, I can't connect the threads between the different ideas. So to avoid that, don't worry about taking time in reading the passage. Take your time, take eight to 10 minutes if necessary. Read the passage paying attention to all details and once you've done that, you can attempt all questions in one shot. You won't have to look back at the passage because the cat is not about searching for information in the passage. The cat has always been about understanding what the passage is saying and then answering the questions in one shot. So you can be done with the whole passage in 12 minutes. So that should be the strategy you're shooting for. The second thing I'd like to uh, uh, advise you is to have a, a wide comfort level when it comes to reading topics from different uh, uh, passages from different topics. Uh, last year, uh, we had a wonderful passage on economics. Uh, I can't go into details about the passage, but uh, students after the exam, they came and told me that uh, so uh, passage on economics, we didn't really read it because we are intimidated by the topic. That passage happened to be the easiest. If you read it once, you know for sure you can answer all four questions. So don't be the person who thinks it's philosophy, it's politics, it's economics. I've never really read these subjects before before, so I can't handle them in the exam. Don't be that person because uh, the exam is, is, is not really interested in how much you know about economics. All you need to know will be contained in the passage itself. So what you should do is step out of your comfort zone, start reading as soon as you can and read uh, from a, uh, diverse sources and diverse topics. Okay? You should be comfortable reading from science, philosophy, art, movie review, anything. Just two things I want to uh, uh, conclude this video with. One is about the importance of vocabulary in reading comprehension. You might have come across many discussions in forums saying that uh, if, if, you're not, if you don't have a good vocabulary, you won't be able to understand what the passage is saying. And this is not true. If there are words that you're not familiar with, you would be able to guess what they mean from the context of the passage itself. The CAT has not been an exam like maybe the GRE, which, which insists that students know the meanings of different words. The CAT is not that exam. So not having a dictionary knowledge of different words is not not going to hurt you. If you really want to boost your vocabulary, the best way to do this would be to read as much as you can. Uh, and that, that's how you organically build your vocabulary. You can't artificially build up your uh, vocabulary or reading speed uh, on the day of the exam or by through any shortcuts or other tricks that you may have read on some forum. The last thing I want to end the, uh, the video with is should you look at the questions first before you read the passage? And this is an emphatic no. Please don't do this. If you read the questions first, your mind will automatically be searching for the details that answer that question. And uh, CAT exams, CAT exam passages will not be about uh, who, who's, who's father, who's, who's mother. It won't be like that. It won't be fact based. So you can't look for the information uh, when you read the passage. It will distract you from what the writer is actually trying to say and it will end up hurting your, uh, your attempt. So don't look at the questions first. They will definitely hurt your attempt. Read the passage and then look at the questions. If you do it the right way, you will only have to read the passage once and you won't have to look at the passage one more time. All the best for CAT 2015.